Morning guys, Johnny with Blades of Grass Lawn Care. Let me take you guys with me on this beautiful Sunday morning. Alright. Look at this guys. Can you believe this? Hey, good morning, guys. So, yeah, um, my wife hit a shrub, a pretty uh, hefty shrub, and ripped her tail light. You know, it has a hole in it. Now, she has ba a backup camera. That's the crazy part. She has a backup camera, and she still hit the tail light and broke it. Now, this is going to cost me $575 at the um, Mercedes dealer, but it's okay. I'll probably go to LKQ or... Uh, one of these junkyards and see if I can go um, find one for extremely uh, uh, less uh, money and I can just install it myself but who knows I'll probably go on eBay probably get me a pretty good deal on it hi right, guys uh, that's not the topic of the, of the day let's uh, let's go to the shop So I like to get up early on Sundays, you know, just so you know, guys, I get up every day at five in the morning. I guess that it's that military in me. Um, you know, I did it for 25 plus years. Um, I get up at five in the morning every day. I try to sleep in sometimes, but it just doesn't work. But, uh, you know, I get up every morning and, uh, you know, do my routine I have a set routine that I do but on Sundays I come out here and um, just double check my stuff guys um, you know make sure the mowers are good make sure we have everything inside our uh, uh, our trailers our equipment is good there's no flats you know little things like that guys because um, I hate surprises um, I'm not one of those that come in on Monday and next thing you know I have a uh, I have a flat tire. I don't like to do things like that. So you may be asking yourself, where is the other truck? The other truck is at home. Um, during the winter times, what I do is, and I'm backing up while I'm talking to you guys. Um, during the winter time, what I do is I just uh, put the truck, uh, you know, just park it at home. Because again, you know, things, uh, things slow down, guys. And you, as a business owner, have to find ways to save money um, it makes no sense to uh, excuse me it makes no sense to keep paying for storage or a parking spot that you aren't currently using so um, the trailer is the trailer is uh, inside a storage bin my storage and my truck is there in the uh, 
at home. So, and it works pretty good. Now and then when we do need it, then we'll just take it out and I'll show you where the uh, trailer is. All right, so this is vlog style, guys. So the, the camera, I mean, the uh, the phone is shaking, things are shaking, you know, I do apologize. Let me know if you like this type of uh, 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 filming. And again, this is just for the summer. I mean, for the summer, man, it's so hot out here, guys. I know some of you guys are freaking freezing, but uh, yeah, it's warm. It's warm today. Uh, I want to say right now it's close to, what is it? Close to 70 degrees, 69. I uh, know it's uh, 56. It's 56 degrees right now, and I'm in shorts and t-shirt. You know, so. All right. Let me shut this off, and let's go. All right, so this I can't do one-handed, so. All right, here's all my equipment, guys. This is what I carry with me during the fall. Here, guys, for those uh, of you who need who want to know exactly what I carry is uh, the X Mark 36 Vantage, the X Mark 48 Vantage, the Steel BR700, the Echo PB770T, two rakes, bags, two cans of fuel, one mix, one regular, uh, the uh, X Mark 21, I have an Edger which is the FS90. Uh, I have two string trimmers, which are the uh, steel FS100RX and two uh, hedge trimmers. The smaller one is the uh, HL, the steel HL90K. And this one, I had it for such a long time. I don't know which one it is, but it's an extended pole. Um, so yeah. This is it, this is it guys. We're not gonna spend too much time. Oops, sorry about the sun. Not gonna spend too much time. And uh, some of you guys asked, how come I don't have a, uh, 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 a lock for these? Um, it's easy to in and out. And uh, anytime we are working, there's one guy in the front and one guy in the back. And for any reason, if we're going to the back, we, um, and no one is in the front, we lock it, guys. We lock it, simple as that. And um, yeah, so this is it. Now, guys, this tray, and I have a whole bunch of trays, it's made by Power Tray. Um, the company, uh, I wanna say, is out of business now. And it was a pretty good tray. It just didn't, I guess, didn't get enough publicity. So they, uh, they went out of business but yeah guys simple clean efficient that's what I believe in um, don't take too much of what you don't need um, this is what we use I'm not into uh, taking additional stuff just because I used to have a whole bunch of uh, the combi system and all the leave that here guys and you know that's what I did um, carry a tarp in the back there um, some extra string some gloves um, for pruning uh roses and that type of you know stuff with thorns and uh yeah this is it this is it clean efficient light convenient uh also guys um hope the sun doesn't bother hold on let me show you real quick i wash my trailer you know i hate when it have those uh little dark marks in the box in and in on the top so you know I wash my trailer and I will uh, at least once a year I will uh, put put a coat of wax on it yeah it's scratched no big deal it happens you know but um it's about the maintenance guys 
I wash my trailer and I wash my truck um, at least every two to three weeks. Um, that's just something that we do. Uh, and I wash my mowers again every two to three weeks, not every week, depending on what we have going on. And if it's about to rain and we're out there doing what we're doing, no, I don't wash my, uh, I don't wash my, my, my mowers. It makes no sense. But yeah, um, it makes me feel better about my business just to have my equipment clean. Um, there's no, uh, there's no scientific fact behind it. That's why I do what I do. Okay, let me get in here. All right, guys. Here is my mower with the trailer, and basically what we do is just, uh, you know, keep it in here. And here is the uh, my other 48 um, sitting in here. But yeah, this this is what we do, guys. You gotta save that money. You gotta save that money. All right, guys. So let me show you. Uh, we just changed out. Where are they? Hope you can see. So these are the blades that we had. Um, the wavy type. These are the ones that we had on the uh, both mowers uh, mulching. And we changed to these right here, the gator blades. And I personally found that um, these, to me, okay, it's my personal preference. These uh, do a better job at grinding and mulching uh, leaves. Uh, these are... I, I, would, I would guess um, that these are mostly for grass. They do an exceptional job when it comes to grass. But these, when it comes to leaves, um, this is our go-to. So um, all our previous videos that you have seen so far have been done uh, with these wavy mulching blades. But um, I will make a video with these blades and show you uh, a great great difference I mean they they we just got to do one pass and they turn to powder okay all right guys that's it for today um didn't want to bore you with uh, filming myself um, changing out the blades you know you guys know how to change out blades you guys know how to <clears throat> jack up your mower is all that good stuff so uh, you don't need to watch me do the whole thing again. All right. And um, today is November the 26th. November the 26th, guys. And uh, hope you guys had. Yep, I'm in shorts, guys. Let me see. Oops, I can't even show you. Yep. I'm in shorts. Hold on, let me go get a selfie stick. They didn't have a selfie stick, guys, so this is where I had to do it. All right, guys, so um, let me know. Let me know in the comments below um, what kind of blades are you guys using to uh, do your leaf mulching or your, um, your leaf cleanup. And I know it changed uh, by uh, location, um, you know, type of leaves that you're doing, location, temperature, all that good stuff. I understand that. But um, let me know, guys. Let me know uh, what you guys do. And, uh, I mean, what kind of blades you guys are using. And, uh, you know, so we can learn from each other. All right? All right, guys. Thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. Um, again, this is just a quick Sunday morning vlog. Uh, let you guys see, you know, what I do on average. Um, and, again, I like to... You know, I'm one of those type of guys that like to pre-plan. I don't like to come in on Monday morning and next thing you know, uh, a battery is, is dead. Um, you know, we don't have enough edge of blades. We don't have enough string. Uh, we don't have, uh, 
you know, fuel is fine. We can go pick up, get some fuel. But um, you can't leave it up to you guys because your guys <laughs> will let you know that something is missing or they don't have it uh, the, the, the day or the time that they actually need it. Okay. So again, guys, have a great week. Uh, I know things are slow for some of you guys up north. Um, again, stay motivated, guys. I appreciate your support. Pop smoke.